Hey guys, uh, I wanted to start this video off by saying that I'm sorry. Um, I've not really been active any on my uh, channel lately. I've been uploading or anything. Um, there's just been a lot going on lately where summer just started, got a lot of uh, vacations and practices and everything going on right now. So sorry about that, but um, I've got this video I'm showing you all. I went Tuesday to the stock sales at my local flea market and um, they have it there on Tuesday. So I went and acquired these three knives. Um, I got a back pocket, cigar whittler, and a jaguar. Um, I got them all three from the same dealer. They're all three case collectors club knives. Uh, they all have that shield on them, which is a pretty nice shield. Um, uh, they're standing on these stands, which I think are actually pretty cool. They are these clear knife stands. I mean, they're, they're fairly inexpensive. They're, I think like 15 bucks for a pack of five or something. So, I mean, they're, they're not bad, but, um, they're pretty cool little stands for them. I, I keep most of, actually, I keep all my knives in a glass case, um, or on a shelf, but these are pretty cool to set on the shelf and just kind of display some more special knives. But I'll go ahead and show you all what I got here. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, this is a back pocket. This has quickly became a top five favorite for me. Pretty soon, maybe even a top three. I love this knife. That action is insane. This is a 2000 end. 10 I believe this one is actually that yeah I think that might be 2010 I'm not quite too sure um 2010 or 2009 one of the two um but yeah this is a beautiful knife it's got a beautiful beautiful little blade here with this swedge on it it's got half stops which is just another cool feature. I love the um, addition of a hole for a bail. I would love to put one on it if I could find one. I would love to have a bail on this knife. That would just make it all that much cooler. Um, it's got that nice Case Collectors Club shield on it, which is pretty cool. Um, all three of these knives are huge knives, and I'll show. I'll compare them with a Trapper in just a little bit. Um, just to kind of give you all a, a reference. Uh, these three are, besides my Clasp and Granddaddy Barlow, these have easily become my three biggest knives in my entire uh, case collection for sure. Um, the next one over here is a Cigar Whittler. This is my, the oldest out of the three, this is 2007. I thought it was kind of funny because I was born in 2008 and each of these knives is a 2007, 2009, and 2010. So they just kind of skipped over my birthday, I guess. I don't think I have a single knife from my birth year. But I don't really care. I just thought that was something kind of neat. Um, these are really, this is a really good knife. Um, it's got a nice huge spear blade on here uh, with a... A short, nice little uh, spay blade. I thought it was also neat how the spay and pin blade on this knife both have half stops while the uh, big spear doesn't. So thought that was neat. It also has, it's also stamp tested XX right there, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't see that one a lot. Um, the bone on here is beautiful. Again, I didn't mention it on this one. The bone is really neat on this one. It's really smooth. It's not pocket worn this one, but it's really smooth. However, this bone is just like beautiful. I don't know. It it looks like a, I want to say like antique bone. While the Jaguar here is almost like an autumn kind of bonish. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I think this is a really, really neat knife. I've been wanting a cigar whittler to complete my whittler collection. So now I have all five whittlers with the cigar, seahorse, half, regular, and um, 
the humpback whittler. So that's awesome that I got all them. I really want to get a humpback stockman as well. That and a copper lock are two that I'm trying to I'm hunting for right now. And the one I'm hunting for the most is a gun stock. You know, I want one really bad, but all I see are like the baby gun stocks, and I want a big one. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and finish here with this knife. This is a Jaguar. Um, it looks kind of like a slimline trapper, just way bigger. This is de this is the longest knife in my entire collection. Now this is it's hard to even get it in camera here. It is insane. Now. Um, a lot of you may not even know what a Jaguar is. You probably know what a cigar in a back pocket is. But for me, anyway, I hadn't even never even heard of a Jaguar before until a few weeks ago. I happened to stumble upon one on eBay, and I was like, huh, is that real? Because I've never seen one of them before. And I was just, you know, kind of looking around in the cases at the uh, stock sales, and I mean, I I first seen that back pocket. And I was like, okay, I'm going to buy that because he had it priced fairly. And then I was looking and I seen the Cigar Whittler and I'm like, huh, that's pretty cool. And I was thinking about buying it. And I look right under and I'm like, wait, is that a Jaguar? Because I've, I've never seen him before. But lo and behold, that was a Jaguar. And I was like, awesome. I'm going to bundle these two and get a good deal. So I, I bought both of them from him, the Cigar and the Jaguar, obviously. But the Jaguar is also a Case Collectors Club. Um, it's got scrolled bolsters, and this bolster is really cool because it's scrolled with the XX. I thought that was really cool. This has like a really... it. At first glance, these two looked like they had similar bones, but once I kind of looked closer, I could tell they were different. This one was more yellowy. Almost like a autumnish bone. This was more like an antique kind of bone. But um, like I said, the Jaguar is super long. It reminds me you reminds you of like an oversized slim line trapper. Now, what I thought would have been cool is if you had the folding guards on it, like you have with the cheetah. And it would make sense considering their names, like the cheetah and the jaguar. So this could be like the you know, slimline trapper version of the cheetah and have the guard on it. And it fits this knife too, because this one could be like a stabber. It's so long. I'm telling you guys, it's huge. I'll, I'll even show you here. This is a trapper. You all know what a full size trapper is. You know, the size of it. It's pretty, it's a pretty big knife. That's it compared to my hand. But compared to this knife, I mean, it's just insane. And if you take, the blade out it just doubles this knife completely it dwarfs this trapper here but yeah i just wanted to point that out how big all three of these knives are you know and you compare uh the trapper to the back pocket as well the back pocket's just way bigger than it is and same for the whittler so yeah uh i bought all three of these I'm not even going to say what I paid because I don't want to say it again. Um, I haven't told you all, but I don't. I just don't even want to say it. Uh, but this this blade here on the Jaguar has etched WR Case and Sons, uh, handcrafted since 1899. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you all. And this is real. You can search this pattern up. It's pattern number 51. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you all this. I thought that was really interesting on this Jaguar. Um, I find it rare to find a new knife anymore that I've never heard of. I just don't see it a lot. Um, I happened upon it one time with, uh, the razor knife. And cause they're also, you don't see them a lot. So I just happened to come across it at the flea market as well. That's where I get a lot of my my uh, collection from. But I just wanted to show you all that. Uh, that's the video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a lot. Been a lot going on, but 
thank you all for watching subscribe i'm gonna try to get this up pretty quickly we'll see um but thank you all for watching goodbye